All right, here on the Derek Shapiro podcast, um, um, Derek Shapiro, and we have a great guest. She has another part. She has a home podcast, Studio City Now, and right. with Michelle Marotta. Close, Marotta. Marotta, Marotta, Italian, right? Uh, yeah, my mom is Italian. My ex husband, you know, Satan, he was Italian. I kept the last name. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so you're from the East Coast. You're from New York. Yeah, I was born in um, Beth David Hospital in New York City. Okay. Um, lived in the Bronx till I was five. My father was in the music industry. So, really, um, the company brought us from New York to Chicago to Phoenix to LA. And, and, and you said off the air, your father founded VJ Records? No, he was president of VJ. President of VJ Records. Just, just like uh, how Tommy Mottola was president of Sony Music. Yeah. God, I haven't seen him in years. Mm. But, um, yeah, who's, but who's he was Mariah founder. Uh, I'm sorry? Tommy Mottola is uh, Mariah Carey's ex-husband. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, so you're, you're you're an actress, um, part of the Damian series too. I've interviewed a lot of actors and actresses, part of the Damian series too. You have a podcast and you're an actress, just like me. I'm an actor and I have a podcast. Um, and I've interviewed a lot of actors over the years from the Damian uh, series. I've interviewed um, um, uh, Carl Judy when he was alive. Right. Did, did you get to meet Carl Judy? I did not. Um, Kath and Norland's been on my show before, and I've acted with Kath and Norland in my movie. Have you acted with, with Kath and Norland? Yeah, actually, the very first Starman I did was with Kathleen Norland. Really? In, in a weird world, she's a friend of mine's best friend. Really? With, Isn't Catherine so sweet? Catherine is so she sweet. She is one of the most wonderful people ever. She is. When she did my podcast, and then she agreed to be, play my sister in my movie, in my movie New England, she, 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 she is wonderful. I mean, oh my God, she's just so sweet, and 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 everything, and 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 uh, just just a wonderful human being, you know. And then of course I interviewed the Spanish actress. I forget her name. It was it was a while back. And then Colin A. Borden, I I interviewed. Mm -hmm. Um. He said the Tom Hanks of the Damian series. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, you know, I know the faces. Um, he always plays I, a nice guy. Um, he always plays a nice guy in the series, you know. Okay. Um, 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 yeah, and 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 of course, I interviewed Michael Vaccaro twice, you know, um, most recently for something else. But 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 Michael Vaccaro, I interviewed a year ago, first to first. And then I put him in my other movie, Man in Blue Sweats. <laughs> oh, jeez. So Michael M M Michael played himself. And, and Michael Michael's an awesome guy, isn't he? Yeah, I actually interviewed him last year. But I met Michael about eight years ago at the premiere of Ron and Laura Do America. Okay, okay. Um, I think that was the name of it. But Michael's um, show was Child of the 70s. Yes, yes. Tyler Saunders, he put Susan Olsen, who played Cindy Brady, in his series. You know? Oh, he had amazing people in his series. And one yeah. of the things he had done, and he mentioned this to me, he said, every episode, there's somebody different playing the mother. Because, you know, the mother in some of the series, like Friends, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and... Um, well, the father in Bewitched, played by yeah. different people every season. Sure. So it, it, it was uh, um, uh, Michael. Just has 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 a great great personality. He's funny, and he knows how to play those the, those arrogant characters in the Damian series. You know. Um, oh um, yeah. When I reconnected you know. with him, because um, we had worked together on Darman. And I said, you're the nicest guy in the world. And you always play these horrible people. 
<laughs> and he smiled. I mean, exactly. Like and, and Mayor, Mayor Mulroney, nicest woman in the world. Oh, and yeah. she plays these stuck up, you know, head up her butt. She knows yes. everything, people. And, and she's... But, but, <laughs> but, 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 and, and the mayor last week, uh, last week, because, because, um, um, she connected with me about, about the protests that's going on. And then I interviewed Chaz Laughlin, who plays always getting arrested in the, in the, in the, in the um, Damian series. And he plays like a shady guy in the Damian series. But Chaz is one of the nicest <laughs> guys, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so, um, yeah. um, 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 there's a lot of protests going on. Of course, you're an actress on the Damien series, of course. Mm -hmm. What's your take on the protests that's going on? Because you have a podcast. You you interview Michael and you interviewed um, you interview Mia for your for your podcast. But you still work for Damien, so you're kind of staying neutral, right? With everything. I'm staying neutral. Um, I didn't even know about the protest. I got a call from my agent who oh. said, what's going on at Darman? And I'm like, huh? And I called Michael and I called mayor and um, found out. And I have to say, I agree with them. Darman has grown. He has three huge studios. Um, oh. He makes a lot of money. And um, the actors are not, we're getting paid minimal. I mean, I get paid 18 an hour to be an extra. That's not even sad wages. Yep. Um, all three studios, right. I mean, they went up very quickly. They're not up to code, unfortunately. But he's flying back and forth. He's, you know, I'm glad he's making a lot of money, but we're the people who did that for him? Um, sure, sure. If it wasn't for us, he wouldn't be who he is. Plus, I did a dive into his history as Mayor did also. He's been arrested for defrauding the city of Oakland. Um, he's been involved in, I would say like, well, like an entrepreneur, but more like the Amway pyramid schemes. Or Ponzi schemes. Yeah. So, sure. to turn his words back onto him, so you see, <laughs> exactly. things are not as they always seem. So, 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 can you see yourself still working for Doctor This too? Um, he's got to pay a decent wage. He's got to treat. Sorry if I'm my phone shaking. He's got to treat the staff better. Um, one of the child actors, Briani, a yep. wonderful girl, been an actress and model most of her life. She's 16. She was fired because of an autoimmune issue she has. She, wow. according to her grandmother, um, she works 16 hours one day, which is illegal for child actors. Yeah. Without even being fed. Uh, wow. That's not good. Um, no, it's not. Um, I reached out to an organization called A Minor Consideration uh, and let them know. And I let Brianni's grandmother know. She's her guardian. I don't know what happened after that because I know the organization. I know who runs it, but I don't get involved in what they do. Sure. But um, you can't treat, especially child actors like that. Um, I've also been told three of the crews I've worked with were let go without any reason. I do through uh, Michael Amir. Um, um, so <clears throat> how, long, how long were you working for DAR for? I was there in the beginning. I started before Michael did. I started, I think it was September 2019. 
And other than Don, what other projects do you have? I mean, I know you do your podcast, Studio City Now. You interviewed some incredible, incredible people on your your podcast too. But what other some acting projects mm -hmm. do you have coming up for yourself other than other than Dar? Um, right now, I'm kind of taking a break. I was really sick. I had COVID. Um, by the way, I shut down the set yeah. because of COVID. <laughs> sure, sure. I had COVID. Then after COVID, I had strep throat twice. Yeah, I had um, I had COVID twice. I had COVID twice two years ago. Around this time, I had COVID for the first time. I had COVID in October of 2022, just a few months ago, and then I'm I'm, I'm kind of feeling under the weather now. But it's not COVID; it's a cold. I'm still working. I'm still going out, but it's like a throat infection. But it's not really a because I had a, I had a scratchy throat, but mm -hmm. uh, it's mainly a cold, which I can't get over the cold. But I've still been working, so it's not COVID. Luckily, it's not COVID, you know. And I've still been working full force with this cold. So luckily, it's not COVID. So because I tested myself twice. So a lot of stuff going around, you know what I'm saying? True. Well, I came back from Hawaii October 2019 um, okay. with, at the time, it was called Corona. Yes. So we think I may have had it. Or it could have been mono. Nobody knows. I was just so exhausted. Sure. But um, what I'm working on now, I'm taking a break. I do red carpet and celebrity photography. Really? So I do. Uh, MichelleMarada.com. I have to update the website. MichelleMarada.com. Mm -hmm. M-I-C-H-E-L-E-M-A-R-O-T-T-A.com. Dot com. I like that. I put a link, put a link from the Derek Shapiro show dot com and everything like that to, to yours. Uh, it, it, it's incredible because you you interviewed some great people on your uh, on your platforms, of course, like Michael Amir. But you interviewed someone from the Donna Reed show. Um. Yeah, Paul Peterson, who played Jeff, on the Donna Reed show. We've been friends for, oh my God, years. Sure. Um. We're both into car culture. And I used to work for George Barris, the Batmobile guy. The Batmobile guy, okay. He built the original 1966 Ford Futura Batmobile. My brother and I both really? worked for him, and I met Paul through him. My so, son is a very um, confiatic. My son, who's 17 River, he 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 loves everything about, about cars. He, he especially does cars, you know. Anything about mm -hmm. cars he loves, you know. <laughs> oh wow! He should check out the Barris website. The Barris but, website. Um, I think it's called Barris.com. Okay. But I worked briefly for George Barris, who I knew most of my life. My brother was his best friend, and um, you know, I met a lot of people like Butch Patrick from the Munsters. Sure. Of course, Paul. Um, Oh gosh, uh, Joe Montaigne, Joe uh, Criminal Mind. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Just met, it... you know, met a lot of people and grateful for everyone I've met and doors that have been opened. Sure, sure, sure. It, it, it's funny because, you know, I, I, <clears throat> it seems like 2023, I'm meeting people across the board. Locally here in Rhode Island, who does other other shows, other other podcasts, I mean the new people, Lanier and Chaz through Michael Vaccaro, meaning you, because if I didn't hear your podcast through Michael Vaccaro, I want to reach out to you because I I, I just reached reach out to you because you did a wonderful interview with them and I, I did a wonderful interview with them. So we both interview the same people, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's cool, you know. And yeah, it it just it, it just like it's meant to be who you meet to, and, and 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 i, I want to show your podcast on my platform too because you're doing wonderful work you know i, I just love other podcasts you know that's why i i respect other other, other people in the radio business because i i, I started out on radio you know uh, um and 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 my my other friend you know down in atlanta he does a wrestling podcast you know and uh it's it's like it's like you're meeting and, and I know for 10 years and 
and and I, I introduced him to my other friends here here in New England, you know. So it's 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 so cool, so cool, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, what do you love about 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 podcasting and about interviewing people? What do you love about your your your, your what you do with with your with your podcast? Well, let me give you a little background, um, which will you know lead up to why I love this. I grew up in the music industry. Um, and I did some acting as a child, the best alien extra in town. <laughs> really? But um, I would hang out with my dad and we'd go see the Art LeBeau show or um, now I'm going back to the sixties. Sure. I'm going to be 68 this year. So um, the older people, Oh my God, that sounds weird. We'll recognize the names like the real Don Steele and uh, Sam Riddle and Michael Blodgett. And I get to hang out with all these DJs and I loved it. Um, <clears throat> you know, I grew up, I was a single parent. I had to do something else, you know, cause I had to support myself, but um, always loved radio. I wound up working at Columbia School of Broadcasting Oh, and sure. was the voice of the old K West oh. in LA. Sure. So still went on to do something else, worked for Rosemary Clooney, was a Playboy bunny. Um really. I was a, a cocktail waitress, not a naked bunny. Okay, okay. I grew up Catholic. I have a lot of guilt. So um <laughs> so um and it always led me back to radio, but I never really had a chance to really do radio or to do podcasting, which became very popular the past couple of years, but right. I'd always done voiceovers. Yeah. So I'm doing a demo one day and I'm in the studio with my engineer, who's like one of my closest friends, shout out to Michael Rafferty. And he shuts the door. And he says, you want to do a podcast? Yes, but I don't know what to do. And he said, this is what we're doing. He put together a logo, got me on Anchor, which, you know, goes to everywhere. Showed me how yes. to edit, which is my big thing. Mm -hmm. And um, he said, who do you know? And I said, everyone. So the first interview I did was the guy who did my headshots, who was a filmmaker, my filmmaker, Mark Cartwright. So um, he does sci-fi. So, and that's how it got. Okay. Oops. Sure. Okay, yeah, my alarm went off. Yeah. So that's how I got into podcasting. <laughs> I didn't really know what I that's was doing. Cool. So I looked at one YouTube, started listening to other podcasts, um, got on the phone, called my friends, went through LinkedIn, connected with Ruth Davis from Ruth Davis Consulting in Virginia. And she's mm -hmm. been helping me and she sends me all her clients. So um, I've been doing this three years now. I have 123 podcasts up. And... Um, that's how I got into it. You know, the background just kind of led up to doing it. Also got involved sure. with something called Chords, Vines, and Dines. My friend Kat sure. Ellis has a radio show out of Temecula. So she's had me really? on and she showed me the ropes too. And she's wonderful. It all just kind of happened. That's, that's good. Plus, it, it's funny because it's funny because I have, I have a few other friends that start a podcast too. So like, I'm, um, I'm kind of like showing them the ropes too, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's it's so cool when you when you can give back and show other people too and make their dreams come true too, you know what I'm saying? Well, I've got to tell you, you know, because I do do the celebrity and red carpet mm. photography, I reconnected sure. with a lot of people. And once I started having more confidence doing the podcast, you know, I just hand out a card and say, call me. I have a podcast. I'd love to be on it. 
So the people I have lined up, like Jeremy Miller from Growing Pains. Oh, oh I yeah. interviewed Kirk Cameron. Oh, really? Yes, I interviewed Kirk Cameron before. So <laughs> six degrees of separation. Look at that. Yeah. Well, I love Jeremy and his girlfriend, Joni. Just wonderful really? people. Sure. Um, I worked the Hollywood show this weekend. It's like mm -hmm. the autograph show. In a weird sense of the world, in a roundabout way, I'm a former Disney kid. Because I was on a show that was bought by Disney many years ago. Really? Yeah. I was an extra on a show called It's About Time. You see okay. the back of my head. The only two of us left living. But, you know, sure. we're going back 65 years. 65 so, years ago. Yeah, a, a couple of my math may be off. We're going back to the 60s. So um, I reached out to Pat Cardi. He has not done the show. Um, he kind of wants to stay out of biz, the show biz right now. Um, God, who did I reach out to? I've had everybody. I've had writers. I've had authors. I've had actors, singers, songwriters. I had Jimmy Buffett <clears throat> in a weird sense. Um, John M. Sure. out of Nashville, who is a singer-songwriter. Sure. Um Paul Peterson from the Donna Reed show. Uh, Branscombe Richmond from Renegade. Sure. Though I haven't edited that yet. Um, I've had women trying to get other women out of poverty. Uh, oh my God, I've had everyone. I've had a guy um, who is like one of my dearest friends and the coolest guy in Utah, uh, Clayne Wayman. His parents were in one of those polygamous cults. Uh, he is four out of 45 kids. Really? And um, it took him years to escape. He doesn't talk to most of his family, which made his life easier. He's a financial guy up in Utah, married, four daughters. And he does these spiritual trips to the Amazon. So I talked to him the other day. I'm going to talk to him next week about something personal. But sure. I think I'm going to go on the next spiritual journey to the Amazon. That's so cool. So I've had him on. I've had him on, uh, I think, three times. I had a singer-songwriter, Sky Delaney, who, yep. um, you know Sky? No, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just... I'm just following what you're saying. I'm, I'm just, you know, this is this is fascinating, you know. Oh, Sky always sells that at the whiskey whenever she's there. Finally sure. met her in person at a party. It's like we knew each other immediately. Wonderful yep. singer songwriter. Um, Patrick Kilpatrick, who is mm -hmm. an actor, he ran for governor of California, and he's got a great voice. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Miles Dalton. Phone? Pardon me. Well, answer the phone. Um, no, no, it's funny because um, when you, when you said the governor of California, right? I, I, I happened to um, run into the former first lady of California, um, 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 uh, Maria Shriver, because when I go to the Cape, when I go to the Cape, right? I went to the I I I said that I showed my kids the Kennedy compound. It's, it's so close to where I live. <clears throat> so I, I we took a drive through the compound, and guess who's walking? Maria Shriver. So I I I I I don't want to be like a stalker, but I I got on my car. I says, Maria, I just want to say I just love you. You know you're great. I'm in broadcasting too. You you know she, she's in broadcasting, and then I went back to my car. You know what I'm saying I didn't get an autograph. I just want to say you know, you're wonderful because Maria Shriver hello you know well, from a first lady of California and the and, and the Kennedys you know so so yeah. I went up to Maria Shriver you know <laughs> yeah I've I've actually met Robert Kennedy Jr. I have sure. a funeral notice from when Robert Kennedy Sr. was assassinated okay 
Uh, signed by Ethel Kennedy. I should probably have it permaplaced. It's sure. in my drawer. Um, love Robert Kennedy Jr. Love what he does for the environment. Uh, I'm trying to think. I've had so many incredible people. Stanley Livingston from My Three Sons. Sure. Uh, which was a series in the 60s. I remember My Three Sons because my... Uh, I'll, I'll be, you know, back in the day when I lived with my parents, we'd be watching My Three Sons on a Nick at Night, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I love My Three Sons back in the day, yeah. Now, do you remember when Robbie got married to Tina Cole, the blonde? Don't remember. I don't, I don't remember that. I, I wasn't a big, big fan of that show, but I, I watched it because my parents were watching it. So, you know. Yeah, well, I, I'm more, I, I was more into Full House, you know, Full House mm -hmm. in the '90s, the uh, you know, Punky Brewster, you know, you know, those shows. But but it was funny because I interviewed Kirk Cameron and I interviewed Kirk Cameron's sister, Candace Cameron Bure, you know. Oh, I so, love her. Oh yeah, yeah. Candace is awesome, you know. So 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 um um so again, MichelleMarada.com is your website, right? It is. Um, I have to update it, but I have photos on it. Sure. And then Studio City Now, your podcast is on all the platforms, iHeartRadio. Uh, um, iHeart, Amazon Music, Audible, Google Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, Breaker, Stretcher, um, very popular in Singapore. Singapore. <laughs> I like that. Singapore. I've always wanted to go. After I saw Crazy Rich Asians, I'm like, I gotta go see that city. Sure. Oh, crazy! Uh, yeah, uh, rich Asians. Great, great series over there. Yeah, that was a um, good. Yeah, I absolutely love that show, that series, or the. Duh! It's too early. The movie. It was mm -hmm. so heartwarming. Sure. Because she falls in love with this guy, has no clue who he is. And he is so low key. Sure. And he's kind of hot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I thank you, Michelle, for being part of my podcast and um um I'm having the privilege to interview you and 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 you're great to know and and, and people out there, Studio City now, follow her on the different platforms. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna um um carry her po podcast because you just a positive influence, you're positive for your podcast. And I, I just love working with other podcasters and getting to know other podcasters because, you know, working together and 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 letting other people know about you, you and 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 getting you out there too, because you're you're such a positive influence. You know, you you have a positive mind and positive soul. So you know. Thank you so much, and thank you for reaching out to me this morning. Well, thank you for reach you know reaching out to me again too. So. It's, it's so cool to have you. So thank you, Michelle Marotta, Eric Shapiro Show here. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll talk in a minute. <laughs> yes. Okay.